Hi YouTubers. YouTubers, today we are upgrading an existing installation which is a 75 amp hour battery and a 5 kVA inverter. Uh, we've now added an MPPT controller and we'll be adding 8 solar panels to this installation and that will give um, this installation the opportunity of being off the grid during load shedding. Load shedding is a phenomenon in South Africa where the utility can't provide enough electricity and they subsequently shut down parts of the grid. So we need a fair amount of resilience to be able to run off the grid. The initial setup of this installation only includes the inverter and the battery. The setup is really there to protect the user against load shedding or outages. Today what we want to do is add solar panels and an energy meter to enhance the user performance and lower the cost of the energy. We start by mapping out the position of where the roof tiles need to go. I like to take the cardboard packaging that the panels come in, cut out the panels and lay them out on the roof so I can be sure that the orientation and the size and the fit are optimized. In this case we're leaving a small gap between the two strings so we've got access to be able to clean the panels and also for ease of installation. The roof orientation is almost due north, uh, which in the southern hemisphere is the correct direction. And the space is fairly generous, so we have a fair amount of flexibility. Next, I like to lay the rails out onto the roof so I can check the spacing between the rails in accordance with the roof hooks that fit underneath the concrete tiles. After some juggling around, we found the optimal position and we can start to lift each tile to establish where the rafters are to fix the roof hooks to the rafters. Once the roof hooks are fixed, we can then fix the rails and we can start populating the panels. I like to populate the top row of panels first with easy access to the wiring and make sure that the leads that secure that are connected to the panels um, terminate underneath the panels themselves so they're not damaged by strong sunlight. Repeat the process for the second string and then go back to the other end of the cable and check for polarity and consistency. So here's a picture of the completed installation, all uh, set up and configured and uh, neatly um, implemented. Um, you can also see in this image that uh, the grid meter is now a part of the ESS system, the energy storage system, and that uh, is the part that I talked about earlier that is controlling the balance between the whole setup. And uh, last, last but not least, you can see on the dashboard um, what the entire system looks like. This dashboard is particular, particularly useful for um, the owners as they can start to manage their energy consumption and adjust their lifestyle to be more efficient. 